All of you must have seen various kinds of plastic components and must be thinking how are they made, what is their manufacturing process and technology behind that. Hello and welcome to Product Labs and in this video we are going to discuss all those technologies and processes which are used to manufacture the plastic components in the plastic industries. So let's get started. So the very first process in this list is the extrusion molding. In this process we use the molten plastic which is poured into the die, uh, into the hopper, so uh, into the machine basically uh, and then it is pressed through the die which is uh, having the custom shape which we want to produce through the molding process. So dies can be made out of the custom shape which you want, the molten pro uh, plastic is pressed through it and the shape it produced out of that. So through this process we get a very lengthy part out of that and uh, the parts which we produce are of uniform cross section. For the example uh, if we consider the parts uh, out of this process are like uh, PVC pipes you can see that one, one in my hand. So it has, a, it has got a cross section which is uniform throughout the length. So you can you can manufacture these pipes uh, as long as you want so the length will be so long and, and the uh, cross section will be uniform across the length that's the advantage and, and then uh, another example I can give you like uh, straws which we use for the uh, drinking of the juices and all that. So these are the some of the examples of the parts which we can produce from this simple process and the advantage of this process is like uh, this uses very simple equipment so it's very economical process. At the same time the productivity of this process is very high because it just keeps on producing uh, same, same cross section on the entire length. So these are the two major advantage in this process. So let's move on to the next process. Next process is compression molding. In this process we pour the raw liquid plastic into the heat mold. So after the pouring the plastic it is compressed into the desired shape and at a high temperature. So the, high, uh, the temperature which, which is maintained helps to attain the shape uh, which we require out of the mold. High temperature of the mold helps us to uh, attain the strength and the shape of the shape of the part. You can see this uh, entire process in the animation as well which is uh, shown in the video. Now most commonly product which we make out of this process are plastic bumpers of the automotive and the switches, electronic parts like basically which you see in the houses uh, you know our houses electronic switches and uh, buttons and etc. So these are the common application of this compression molding. Next interesting process is the blow molding. In the blow molding we make the process which are uh, of very thin cross section and uh, basically they are hollow. So the common example of those parts are bo plastic bottles, aqua bottles which you have seen. Uh, like uh, Coca-Cola bottles, bislery bottles and all those kind of bottles and how are they basically made and th that's, uh, that's done by only uh, blow molding. Uh, in this process the molten plastic is uh, injected into the mold and then, then air is passed into the mold and then, then it compresses the, the, the plastic and blows the plastic around the periphery of the molds till it, till it uh, goes around the periphery and takes the shape of the mold. Shape basically mold is uh, already in the shape of the product and then the, the, when the air is blow, blown into the mold at high pressure so it just goes around the mold and takes the shape of the final product. So that is how the final product is made. And finally, uh, when mold opens up, the ad additional uh, plastic is uh, trimmed off, and uh, you can see uh, the final product is, uh, you know, uh, it's like this, something like this. 
it's it's trimmed off from from this end that's uh, additional trimming is done later on so this is the part uh, we get from the blow molding so it has a cross section and hollow thin cross section so this is a very small bottle so similarly they produce a huge big big bottles also using the blow molding so i hope the blow molding process is very much easy to understand next process is injection molding so i'm sure all of you must have heard about this process as it's a very common process used in the industry and most of the components or parts which we come across in our day to day life are made out of injection molding process so uh, uh, the way the the manufacturing is done in this process is a uh, little bit different so what we do is uh, first we take the plastic granules and we put them into hopper and this uh, these granules pass through the heated heated zone of the molding machine and then it's it's turned into the uh, liquid plastic and then liquid plastic is pa passed into the uh, into the mold and in the mold it takes the shape of the product so mold is basically having two parts which one is called uh, uh, cavity and another is ca called core so so it goes there in the core and cavity and takes the shape and finally it it's 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 ejected from the mold uh, using the ejector pin so it's a it's a long process and uh, it, the entire process is uh, done at a certain temperature and certain uh, molding parameters are set for the entire process like temperature pressure and all those things and it's used for the industries where the volume required is very high uh, so it brings down the cost you can see the like these lego pieces these are made out of the injection molding or any or any parts which you see uh, in your house maybe any consumer electronics part like laptops printers uh, vacuum cleaners uh, for that matter tvs all are made out of uh, injection molding so this is one of the widely used process so now we have come to our last methodology uh, which is uh, rotational molding in this method we we put it we put the liquid plastic into the mold and the entire mold is rotated so by doing so what happens the plastic gets stuck to the walls of the mold and forms a hollow shape of the product so that's how the product is formed so product will be hollow always in this in this process so the kind of products we make out of this process are like the water tanks the ka kayaks and the the road cones which we which we keep on the roads for the you know uh, dividing the roads into two parts and all those things these are the typical uh, parts which we make out of this uh, rotational molding and uh, yeah so with this i believe uh, i have covered major uh, major methods uh, which are used in the plastic industry to to form the uh, plastic parts i believe this video might have helped you to understand the various methods which we use to manufacture plastic uh, plastic components if you have any questions or you come across any doubt please drop me a comment and let me know uh, i would be happy to answer them and if you think you are benefited by any means please uh, do like uh, the video and subscribe the channel it helps and motivates me a lot thank you so much for being with me till the end of the video see you in the next video